what I've noticed when people do these type of videos and stuff, they don't really focus. They focus on her a lot, you know, down there. But down there is not just her. Down there is also back there. And back there can produce a ridiculous odor if you're not careful. Working on my energy. Cleaning up, I'm taking care of by myself and me. Drinking coffee, taking sip, they say I'm sparkling. Manifest, I write it down, you know it's happening. Tell by today's title, we're gonna be getting into a lot of tea, okay? Now, this is the video I wish, wish I would have had when I was younger because your girl had to go through a lot of trial and error, ups and downs, and you know, all of it, all of it, okay? So, just know these tips I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today, your girl has real life gone through and overcome, okay? Y'all know I like to keep it super real, super honest, super transparent up in here. So, without further ado, if y'all are ready, let's hop into this. Now, obviously, a disclaimer I gotta throw out there, I am not a licensed anything, I'm not a professional. The tips and tricks and et cetera that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is solely based off personal experience that I've had throughout my womanhood. Now, first things first that I think is super important to state before even hopping into the tips and stuff, because when I was younger, I thought some things was wrong with me. I thought I was a little bit off because I just didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. So I just want to make sure it's very clear. One, discharge is common. For somebody who might not even know what discharge is, if you're that young, it might be like this mucusy type of substance that you experience down there. That is normal. Nothing is wrong with you if it doesn't have a funky odor because then that's tapping into a whole different thing. But when I was younger, I dead ass thought that something was wrong with me. Like I did not think any other girl, cause I'm not looking at, I didn't know, you know, I, I just knew about me. I didn't know what other girls and women had going on down there, but I was like, what is this? Somewhere along the way, I discovered it is normal. It is common. It is okay. Second thing that I want to state is that a I don't want to say an odor, maybe more so an aroma is also normal. Now, there is a difference between a um, natural aroma and a funky aroma. I would hope that you know the difference. No, it's pretty clear actually. You should definitely know the difference if something is smelling just real off. The natural body odor and aroma that we as women give off is just a part of our anatomy. It's a part of our natural makeup. Nothing is wrong with you if you have an odor. Everybody has one. I also remember when I was younger, talking with friends, talking with peers or whatever, it's all about like how to make the cookie or you know, down there smell like flowers. I want it to be, and it's just not, it's just not a thing, okay? I'm gonna teach and tell you guys different ways to make the outer parts of it desirable, all right? Scrumdillyumptious, but the actual aroma that your, you know, cookie, treasure box, whatever you wanna to refer to, gives off, that's what it is, sis. It's, it's a part of being a woman, okay? Embrace it. Now that that's out the way, let's hop into the first tip. And I feel like a lot of people say this, but I'm, I'm gonna really break it down to y'all why it's so important. First tip, drink lots of water. I've always drank water, but I haven't drank it as excessively as I have within the last year or so. The big thing that got me on this consistent journey of drinking lots of water is investing in a water bottle that stays by my side, like always. I sleep with it at night, like right, like literally right on the side of my bed. Cause sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night real parched and like cotton mouth. It helps and then I knock back out. Also, I usually hit the gym first thing in the morning, take it with me there. Usually finish the bottle there. Refill Feel it when I get back and then throughout the day I'm going through the bottle at least two three times you need water to flush out those toxins in your body yaddy yaddy I know that there's some people that uh, supposedly don't like drinking water I've heard of that like they just can't stand it this video isn't for you if, if you're one of those type of people because I'm gonna keep it real with you you cannot survive without water our body makes up I think 70% of water, like you gotta get away with all the foolery, okay, and, and the childishness. Water is so beneficial in so many ways. This is a little off topic than what the video is about, but a lot of people compliment my skin. I don't wear concealer foundation and all of that. A lot of people be wanting to know my secret. I drink my water, okay? I can give y'all a close up right now. My skin stays really healthy for the most part, unless I'm eating bad or whatever and eating too much oil, too much pop, I'll have uh, little blemishes here and there. But for the most part, my skin 
stays top tier. And a lot of it is contributed to the water. There's so many benefits of water beyond just, you know, making sure she's flushed out and staying fresh down there. Also, just for your health, just for your skin, okay? We pulling up real close to summer. You know you want that glow. Water will be your best friend to achieve it. Put it this way, pure water, pure punani. I'll leave it at that. Next tip that I had to learn as I got older, cause I don't know, when I was younger, I was just real naive, real, mm. let her breathe. You know how sometimes you just need to take deep breaths throughout the day just cause you know, life, that's what she needs. If you're constantly suffocating her, all right, when does she ever get the time to, as much as we do to her, as much as she goes through, mother nature, getting some of that good, good, working out, whatever. You can name all the things that she does for us. The least we can do is let her breathe sometimes. Now, I'm not necessarily encouraging you to always go panelist. Some women do do that, you know, to each his own. But to me, the least you can do, sleep panelist at night. You're in the comfort of your own home, in your own bed. Let her be comfortable too. Another tip that I wanna make sure I state, just for, you know, my younger girls that might have clicked on this video, cause I'm sure my older girls, my older women, I'm sure y'all do this. Front to back, never back to front, ever. When you're doing the number one, it's pee pee. When you're doing the number two, it's poo poo. You never wanna wipe the poo poo up your pee pee, like, it. okay, okay, you got it? Remember it, lock it in. Never do. Another tip of mine that I would say, since entering into my 20s for sure, I've hopped on the bandwagon and I just, I will never sway again. Like this is life for me. Using wet wipes, ladies. If you don't use wet wipes, I'm not judging you because I've been there before. I, I was there before. But like I said, I, I ain't never going back. Because what I realized, honestly, is without the wet wipes or without some type of cleanser down there, when I'm wiping, I'm just smearing whatever I just, I let out. You know, they taught you wipe until you don't see anything on the toilet paper anymore or whatever. All I did was wipe it to the point of smearing it dry. And it honestly bothers me that it's not like discussed enough. The fact that you don't get a thorough clean and cleanse from toilet paper. You just, you just don't. Wet wipes will be your best freaking friend if you have not already incorporated it into your lifestyle. There's wet wipes on the go. There's wet wipes that you can keep by your toilet side. I always keep wet wipes by the toilet. Matter of fact, <laughs> Cause y'all probably don't believe me. Let, let me grab it real quick. Dang it! One of the wet white brands I love, Charmin. If you did not know, Charmin has flushable wet wipes. Now I already know there is always comments about like not flushing them down the toilet. Again, keeping it real and transparent with y'all. If you have a dump and you decide to wipe with this and put it in the trash. That just don't sit, that's just not, for me it don't sit right, okay? It just don't sit right in my soul. And then I mentioned there is wet wipes on the go. I love me some honey pot wet wipes. Keep them on deck all the time. Cute little size, fits perfectly in your purse, it's so tiny. It's perfect, it's perfect for on the go. So I'm never caught slipping, okay? Y'all wanna know how to stay fresh all day? Get you some wet wipes on the go and keep you some by your toilet. Next. Tip, y'all. I don't know if I would say I completely live by it, but I'm more conscious of it in my adulthood now, my womanhood. Eating clean, y'all. I really didn't understand the importance of it or the necessity of it until my 20s, or I would even say within the last year or two. I would have me a little salad here and there, you know, whatever, whatever. But I also used to eat like a lot of fast food, a lot of processed food, just a lot. Within the last few months in particular, me and my fiance, we started this it wasn't really a diet, but it was like this challenge. And I'll insert what the challenge was, right? And we did that for two weeks and the difference, ladies, the difference that it made. 
monumental. Also, too, though, before we even did the challenge, we were just starting to eat better, eat cleaner, not eat out as much, not eat as much junk food and whatnot, and I could even notice just with the aroma my body was giving off. It was just very natural. It was just very pure. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a little iffy. So that is something I'm super mindful of. I'm not saying that your girl, you're not gonna see me eat a cheeseburger every once in a while or some chicken wings or whatever. But what I am saying is that is becoming more of a like delicacy for me than like an everyday diet. And for those who might be even wondering like, what does eating clean even mean? Me eating your vegetables, eating your fruit, staying away from all them chips, them flaming hots, them Cheeto puffs, like the, the stuff that tastes so good. I know it tastes so good. It's okay to dibble dabble in it every once in a while but if you're consuming that type of stuff every single day not only are you ruining like your your body your insides okay you're also starting to create this bundle of, of foulness that eventually will will trickle down down there okay my best advice to you is I'm not saying cut it completely out I'm saying cut back if you really wanted to stay fresh and desirable down there cut back. I know it's a very cliche saying you are what you eat, but think of it literal y'all because it is literal. You literally are what you eat. Okay. Consume, go down. <laughs> Where do you think it goes? Where do you think it goes? It gotta go out somewhere eventually to stay woke. I'm trying to think how much of this I want to share with y'all. Let's just I used to think that, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching or have heard, eat your pineapples, you know, eat pineapples, it'll, you know. I used to think it was a myth after a while. At one point, I hopped on the train like, oh, I heard that you eat pineapples. And then it was like, oh, maybe it's just a myth. Like, I don't really think it's that. And then I was recently informed one of the times I was most desirable in flavor was when I was eating pineapples consistently. That's all I'ma say. That's it, that's all. Do what you want with the information. That's what I was told. Next tip, if you haven't heard, if you don't know, now you know, do not wash with scented soap, ever. Like I said in the beginning, we cannot get the flower, okay, aroma going on down there. Like no cookie, no treasure box, no punani. It, it, you can't make it smell like a flower. I know all us ladies are going for something like this, okay? And they do smell so good. But it's unrealistic. No amount of fragrance, soap, body wash, whatever is going to ever make her smell like that consistently. If anything, if it's something that does smell like that, it's gonna end up throwing off your pH balance and then you're gonna have the complete opposite effect. I personally love my Dr. Bronner's unscented baby soap. My OG Beauty Game members know I have rolled with that soap for years. And I have not swayed, I will not sway. It is loyal to me, so I am loyal to it. If you're confused on where to start or what to try, the Dr. Bronner's unscented. Let me get closer, because some people be DMing me like, I says I thought you said this one. Unscented baby soap. Unscented, that's the key word. I had one person DM me one time talking about, I use the peppermint and uh, Girl, I didn't say peppermint. <sighs> I didn't say peppermint. I wash her twice every time I'm in the shower. Never once, twice. Front to back. Okay, make sure you get that booty crack. Cause I also feel like what I've noticed when people do these type of videos and stuff, they don't really focus. They focus on her a lot, you know, down there. But down there is not just her. Down there is also back there. And back there can produce a ridiculous odor if you're not careful. I digress. Get you some unscented soap. And this is another tip, but I feel like it can just combine with this one. Never put anything inside, ever, if nobody told you that. It's always the outside, the lips, hot dog bun, hamburger bun, however you wanna, but never inside. Nothing should ever go inside the hot dog bun. Okay. God got us, y'all. Y'all know why? Because he made the JJ a self-cleaning machine. She doesn't need all the extra extra. You gotta get the outside of her, okay? But the inside of her, she good. She good. Now, if you're someone like me who, you know, you just wanna, you wanna be for sure, for sure, use water. I always use my shower head and I make sure I open up wide down there, you know, really, really rinse her. Car wash energy. Minus the soap. Next tip, I had to learn the hard way. I had to learn the hard way, y'all. Cotton panties only. Cotton panties 
only. Them teeny bopper years, them, them college years, still trying to figure things out. It was rough, it was rough. A lot of the cuter panties, I must admit, they are fire, but they aren't cotton. The repercussions <laughs> of wearing them are just not, <laughs> they're not worth it. So if your panties aren't cotton, especially where your lips lay, if it's not caught in there, you're screwed. You're screwed. I feel like people kind of play with this tip a little too much. Like, oh, well, maybe you can, maybe. No. Cotton only. Stay away from them silks, them satin, them spandex, them seamless. You know, and that really bothers me, to be honest, because I feel like seamless panties was really hyped. It, it made you excited, because it's like, oh, I can wear yoga pants or leggings or whatever in my pants. It'll be seamless. Nobody will see it, but they will smell it. That ain't cute. Understand that all those materials, the problem with them is that they don't allow her to, what? Breathe. It just holds it in there. It locks it in, it secures it. Like think of a, a, a stray jacket. That's what those type of materials do to her down there. And it's just not right. It's not right, it's not fair, it's not cool. So, if you didn't hear me before, again, cotton panties only. Another tip I must state and keep it all the way real. I feel like a few years ago I probably wouldn't have said it the way I'm about to say it. But y'all clicked on this video for a reason. So another major tip when it comes to staying fresh and desirable down there. Ladies, keep her tame. And you know, I'm not saying that in a judgmental way because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when it's them colder months for me, your girl, sometimes I slip up. Sometimes I mess up and then you know I get a whiff or something I'm hit with a news flash like <laughs> yeah and uh, I pull it together real quick you must keep her tamed if you want to stay fresh and clean down there I'm not telling you, you gotta be all the way completely bald I'm not telling you to do that if that's not for you it's for me I personally wax I started doing that within the last year or so prior to that I would always shave but again like I said I personally am a wax girl now so I go get wax I get her completely bald and I love it she feels like a soft baby boy at the end of it all and I love it and so does my name. Bottom line, do something. You got options. You can wax, you can shave, you can trim. You don't even gotta go bald, but you can trim. Keep her, keep her cute. Keep her cute. Another tip when it comes to living on her, giving her the proper care, moisturize her. That is something that I would admit within the last year or two that I just started doing. If I'm lotioning my whole body or whatever like you know I'll make sure I hit her or whatever but I wouldn't give like any intentionality behind it it was just like you know she gets it she gets it and she don't okay she okay but it's not okay ever since I actually started waxing my wax lady she gave me some oil to moisturize with after my wax appointments and I also just realized in general beyond just wax appointments like she deserves to be moisturized she deserves that extra care there are plenty of oils out there matter of fact I'm gonna show y'all the two that I got. There are two oils that I alternate between when it comes to moisturizing her. One is the one that my wax lady gave me. Her um, brand is Smooth and Spicy Spa. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if she put it on her website yet. I've been telling her since I said, put it on your website, let people. I'll have to ask her next time I'm with her, but use that. And then the other one is from Salt XO. It's a Femme Rejuve oil. This is what it looks like. And both of them, if you notice, just have a nice little cute little nozzle. You just do a couple little drips, just like that. And then you rub it on her, give her some moisture. Matter of fact, again, like I said, stay away from like the scented soaps and stuff. This is when you start kind of getting a little bit of, and this isn't like a strong perfumey fragrance at all, but it's a very natural, think essential oils. It smells really good, it smells really, Feminine, it's cute. Avocado oil, almond oil, orange extract, lemon extract, vitamin E, tea tree oil, and peppermint oil. Now another tip in terms of going extra mile to start making her smell floral, so to speak. Not literally her, but her area. That's the key, it's a difference. Not her, her area. So AKA on the outside of your clothes. You can spray perfume down there. I have these cute little scent bird fragrances. You've never seen it before. They are so dope, because you can take them on the go with you wherever. And sometimes I'll, not sometimes, most of the time, I'll spray down there. Just three, four, maybe five. 
little, little sprays, front and back. It makes me feel elevated, it makes me feel good and sexy and like, I'm taking care of me and I'm taking care of her without causing damage. Cause again, you spray it on the outside, never on bare skin down there. The furthest. I go, and I don't even think I've even done it before, but the first side goes the front face of your panty. Spray a little there. There's a lot of ways that we can get around the claws of not being able to use scented soap down there, but still smell good and fresh and desirable. Another tip to stay fresh down there. Don't stay in wet clothes long, y'all. Whether it be gym, swimming, having a long, hot, sweaty day. That is another way for bad bacteria to start building up and you can call some, some damage down there that you don't wanna deal with. I'm talking yeast infections, UTIs, the works. It ain't worth it. Another tip to stay fresh, clean, and desirable. Give her some TLC, like some serious TLC. I mean, bathe or soak in a bath. I mean, get you a bajacial or do an at-home bajacial. By the way, comment below if y'all want me to attempt to have at-home bajacial. I've actually been wanting to get one for a while from my wax lady, and I, we just our schedules just haven't aligned. But I've been seeing some YouTube videos that people do at-home bajacials and. I'm for that. But yeah, doing at home with J-Show is really not that difficult. The same way you do a face mask and maybe even buy a facial steamer. The same thing that you do for her, you can do for her. Another form of TLC, apply a face mask or apply a mask. Actually, dang, I think I really need to show you guys this product. Something I have recently been doing and using down there for her, this Salt XO Hydro Mask. I was shook when I saw the front of it say used for face and vagina. I was like, it helps with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, etc. So I use it on my face and I also use it on her. Especially that bikini line area, summer is pulling up like, okay. We want her looking good, good out here. So those are just some examples of how you can give her TLC. If it's not something you are doing for yourself, make the time ladies you are worth it she is worth it you deserve she deserves but yeah y'all that is all i have for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if there is any um tips that you personally use that's helped you stay fresh and be more desirable down there please don't hesitate to comment below you the game love sharing okay we love dialogues that is all i have for you guys so until next time bye Drink that doggone water, okay? <sighs> Y'all probably thought I was playing. I, I love water. I love water. Oh my.